So this is Urbex Tips number two. And I can't quite talk about trespassing laws, so this one this one's gonna be about photographers' rights. Alright, disclaimer. Some of what I'm about to say is from this page I got online, this dude Andrew Cantor in 2008, he cited a bunch of really good photo law books, and I wanted to mention some of what he said, but he wanted to make sure I gave him credit first, so Andrew Cantor, some of what I'm about to say are words from his page on here. If you want to know about trespassing laws and, you know, are, am I going to get a fine? You know, I can't help you that much because that's, it's too broad. It's state by state, country by country. It depends on what building it is. It depends on who the owner is. It depends on who you are and what you were doing. So the only advice I can give you is if you're concerned, you know, research the building first. See what security is like. See if you can read something online about past arrests. But other than that, there's not much you can do. The topic I want to talk about is photographers' rights. Specifically the question, are the photographs on my memory card legal and still my property even if I was caught trespassing or arrested trespassing? I'm sure a lot of you have at least thought about this. Many of you have dealt with it before. I know that Ben from Abandoned Exploration Adventure or BXX32 on YouTube, he just recently had a textbook nightmare situation dealing with just the rudest just muscle head owners that just tried to tear him apart and just they made him delete his memory card you know I, I'm Ben I'm really sorry you had to deal with those guys I mean that's that's like that's the, the situation that that I'm gonna describe here because that's the that's the horrible situation that basically we get muscled out of our rights in that situation so this is this is why I'm making the video it's important for explorers and photographers to know your rights. If you're caught trespassing, an owner or security guard cannot demand that you give them your camera or delete your memory card. Your best, the best thing you should do is politely ask to leave and leave. They cannot physically keep you there. They do not have the right to prevent you from leaving until you comply with their order. It's, it's if, you know... That's either kidnapping or false imprisonment. And you can press charges. Tell them you'll press charges. Tell them the law. See what they do. No one has the right to confiscate your camera or to require you to erase your memory card. That's theft. It's destruction of property by intimidation. A citizen or security guard does not have the right to threaten you in order to make you do so voluntarily. I have to point out though, this depends if you're trespassing on government property or something that's just, you know, it's not your regular abandoned little little house or something, or even that you can get in trouble with, but you can't document something that's a serious violation of someone's privacy, um, then you're probably screwed if you get caught, and you probably will have to delete the pictures, but um, this is also one of the reasons why it's important to be careful about what you publish online. Uh, anything containing too much confidential information in the photograph of patient records, personal files, um, that can get you in trouble. That actually is against the law. I'm not, not, it's so hard not to get off topic here. The main point I want to make is that even if you are guilty of trespassing, the photos you have are still legal. They're still your property. Even police cannot confiscate your equipment without a court order or even if they're placing you under arrest, they cannot take your camera, they cannot destroy your property by deleting images without a court's order. They just can't. It can be difficult not to cave under the pressure though, I mean, that's, that's the whole thing. Like, you're, they're gonna, they have guns, like, you're gonna, it's hard not to crack and just do it. Or they're gonna do it, and you might not. You might not want to go ahead and press charges and go through all that. Like, and they they might know that you're not gonna do that, but you want to scare them. You want to at least make them think that you're going to. And if you know the law and you say a couple of these words, it might be enough to make them back down and let you just leave without any more questions asked, no more problems, and that that's it. Just leave. So, your best bet if you get stuck in this situation 
is be polite. Always be polite. Be, be the nice person. Be the calm person. Be apologetic. And try to be cooperative. Don't do something you don't want to do. But everything else, cooperate. If they ask you to leave, leave. Don't stay there. Uh, but remain firm, though. Like I'm saying, don't back down. You have rights. Never let somebody delete your memory card. And see what happens if they try to stop you. They can't touch you. They cannot... There's certain things that they cannot do. And if they scream at you, they try to block you in, just, just keep trying to leave or let them know that, that they're... They're kidnapping you or that it's false imprisonment. Let them know that that actually is the law. Ask them if you can leave. Keep asking the person if you can leave if they're giving you a hard time. Your best bet in most cases is just apologize. Don't admit to trespassing in the in the apology though. Don't say I'm sorry for coming on here. Don't don't ever apologize for trespassing. You know, apologize and leave. Say something just like I'm sorry. Uh, play dumb. Say, I, I didn't even realize I was on private property. I was just walking. I came from over there. I saw this view. It looked it looked cool. I wanted to get a closer look. I just got here. I'm sorry. I didn't even realize that this was off the path. I'm sorry. You know, whatever. It, and you can't use that all the time. You gotta be smart. You gotta know where you are. Your best bet is when you're going into the place, have, make a story in your head for why you're there consider how you'd be able to talk your way out of it like as you're walking up do something just think oh you know i was looking for whatever in most cases it's obvious why you're there and you're so deep that it's obvious but um if you can just do play stupid just play stupid but always be polite say, i'm terribly sorry i didn't mean any harm um and just say you know i'll be going now i'm, I'm leaving i'm sorry i'm leaving and that's it. Just keep keep apologizing and keep trying to leave. You know, what are they going to do? So that's basically it. You you could still get fined. And that's what that's why I can't help you. I don't know. You might still get fined, you might still get arrested, but the point is that you no matter what, you should be coming home with your pictures at some point. No one can take the pictures away from you that you took unless you were you were really doing something bad, which which I kind of doubt. So, that's the thing though, it's, it's, you could get arrested and keep your pictures, or you could delete your pictures and leave without getting arrested. That's the thing, is you, you could, if you wanted to, you could make a deal with the person, and if it's, you know, if it's not worth it to you to pay a fine or something and go through all that, then that's a situation where, you know, it's, that's your choice, but point is is if you really want the pictures um you know and you're willing to get arrested for them you know you're you're not gonna lose them remember too that this video is just to raise awareness as time goes on this video will be older and older and i encourage you to do your own research and find out what the current laws are and, and constantly stay updated um as of now you know our fourth amendment rights are vanishing in many ways uh, so search and seizure does happen, so there are situations where you might actually get your camera taken, and they can do it, uh, so who knows, you know, don't take this video and use this as legal advice for something, you know, outside of just a very small world of a few abandoned buildings.